A six-year-old girl in Atlanta learned a painful lesson about snakes lurking where you may not notice them. Nearly 8,000 people in Georgia are treated every year for poisonous state bites. Brooklyn's mom, Sonia, never expected her daughter to be on that list. And it happens like in an instant. Brooklyn Bell is happy to be home. <laughs> she has quite an adventure to tell her friends about. Can you tell me what happened? I was walking with my dog and my sister and mommy. And then Sophie saw the snake before me and then I stepped on it and then it bit me. And she went running down the street screaming. And sure enough, as we walk up like a second right behind her, there is a baby copperhead coiled up. Her new puppy, Scarlet, tried to protect her, but it had already happened. It, it did. It bit her right in the, her left foot on the outside. She was wearing flip-flops. To know that a baby copperhead mm -hmm. did that much damage. The swelling had gone from just a little puncture wound. Her foot was purple, and it was slowly traveling up her leg. Brooklyn's two days at Children's Healthcare of Atlanta was just the beginning of a long recovery. Recuperating for the next about four weeks is about what it took. And we've never actually seen a copperhead around our house or in our neighborhood or anything, so never thought too much about it. Did not realize just really how easy it is to be bitten. What are you going to wear when we go on walks with a puppy now? Tennis shoes. Tennis shoes. <laughs> 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 no more flip-flops, which leads us to tip number one, wear closed toe shoes on walks and hikes and avoid tall weeds and brush. And parents, just make sure you're supervising the kids, also the pets when they're outside. We're going to have more tips tonight and more on Brooklyn Story on 11 Alive News primetime on the ATL.